Hey gang, it's Pastor Lou here. There's nothing I like better than on a fall or winter night gathering with family or friends, sipping some hot chocolate. Mmm, that's good. And perhaps playing a game. Hey, how do you like my tower? You've probably seen this game before. It's called Jenga or Jumbling Tower, or it can be called a lot of other names too. It's super fun and easy. Basically, you build a wooden tower out of blocks. This one's 16 levels high. Then players take turns ever so carefully, hmm, trying to pull out a block without knocking over the tower. But if the player isn't careful enough, if the wind comes up or something goes wrong, or the table shakes, well, everything comes tumbling down and you lose. Life can be like that. No matter how well we build things, they don't last forever. No matter how hard we try, we can never be perfect. And no matter how much we might wish otherwise, all good things come to an end. This morning, when you hear about Jesus and his friends in Jerusalem, that's exactly what we learn. His friends were amazed by the large temple the king had built. It was ginormous. One block could be several tons in weight larger than a car or a small truck, somewhere as big as small homes of the day. So naturally, his friends probably thought it might last forever. Yet in our world, bad things happen. There's sadly wars and hunger and earthquakes and oh my goodness, so many more things to make us afraid. And Jesus said, as big as it was and as beautiful, it would one day be torn down. It would fall all to pieces. Not only that, Jesus would teach them that he would die too, but he would rise on the third day, the day we now know as Easter. Of course, his friends couldn't fully understand this yet. I know I struggle at times to trust and understand this all at times, but Jesus says things in this world were not made to last, <laughs> at least not as they are now. Jesus has something better in store, a new heaven and new earth where bad things will never happen again and we will live happily with Jesus and his family, the church, forever. We just need to trust in Jesus. God loves us. And although life can be hard, God is always good. We'll be okay. We just have to keep walking, keep loving, keep following the way of Jesus. And the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit will do the rest. So don't get distracted, Jesus warns us. Keep your eyes on him. Trust in his promises. These things must happen, but a new beginning lies ahead. Whenever we fall down, we can get up again because Jesus loves us. We'll be okay. It's all just making a way for something new and wonderful. That's awesome. Let's pray and give thanks to God for God's love. Gracious God, when the world seems to be coming down around us, when we fall short and feel like we just can't get back up, boy, are we happy that Jesus was sent to pick us up again. Help us to trust in Jesus, to follow Jesus, to love Jesus, as you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit love us. Encourage us to support one another in good times and bad, and to help all those in need, because no matter how bad things might seem, you always love us and all is well and will be well. We can trust in you, and so we thank you. Amen. Well, that's it for this week. Be sure to join us for Sunday worship online or in person. Online, it starts at 11 a.m. And if you can, come on in for some pre-holiday fun as we have an Advent Fair during our Sunday School Hour next Sunday Oh, and there's going to be a few other surprises, too. Shh. I hope to see you then. So long. Mm. This is good hot chocolate. Take care, everybody. We'll see you soon.